Hey, so today, guess what? We're really excited to be planting these emerald cedars. We have sun going. We'll show you the before. When uh, we very first started, they were really tiny. We only had a few of them. But so, but now we have quite a few more. And we weren't sure if we were going to continue the wall around and up this way, or if we wanted to do something different on the sides, but we decided because we really love the dark green backdrop that we would continue with our little emerald cedars and we're going to carry our wall all the way around and add a few more. So we really love the emerald cedars. They hold their color through the winter and they're a great shelter for the little birds. So we love the shape of these. You don't even really need to prune these or trim them. You can and you can top them to whatever height you want. They get 18 feet high and four feet wide. But basically you can just let them go and they have a really nice pyramid shape to them as they grow and they don't get very wide. They stay very narrow. So they're not gonna take up a whole bunch of yard space. You still have lots of room. And so you wanna plant them probably two to four feet apart. So depending on how tight you want your backdrop to be, you can um, space them out and do other plants in between, or you can keep them nice and snug together, which is what we're going to do. We're going to keep them nice and snug so we have a solid green backdrop. And then we can plant other things in front. They are drought tolerant once they're established, depending on, of course, where you live. Uh, they're good for zone 2 to 7. They actually don't like too much heat, so they might suffer a bit in the heat if you're someplace really hot for a really long period of time. So yeah, so keep an eye on them during droughts. Other than that, they're pretty easy peasy. They have a really good shape. We really love them and we're really excited to get these planted.
We're just going to be planting these in the native soil here and then we'll be putting the compost around the front of it just to encourage the roots to move on out of the root ball there. So, we have everything all put in here. We've tucked away our little evergreens. So remember, when you're planting emerald cedars, that you want to keep them the same level as they are in the pot when you bought them. So don't plant them too deep. You want to water them still first week every day, then every other day, and taper it off into the third week, and so on. Unless there's a drought, keep an eye on them. Um, after that, they require probably once a week, an inch, once a week, like most things. Don't forget to add some mulch, mulch, but don't take it right up to the trunk of the tree, of course. Keep it back at least four inches and two or three inches deep. Uh, so we're really happy with the emerald cedars. We love the color and that they hold through the winter, their color, so that's great. And they're very narrow, so they're not gonna take up a lot of space in your yard and you can still then plant something else in front. So hope to give you some ideas there if you're looking for a little backdrop or a green fence or just something to fill in. Yeah, so that's what we use and so far so good. We may continue it on that way also, but for now we're just going to work on getting these guys established. And that's about it for this one. So thanks for popping by and we'll catch you in the next one.